Hello, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to be going through some drum production tricks you might want to try out. So I'm just using um, Reaper and Reaper automation and some Reaper effects and using my own Witch Pig plugins um, to apply different effects on the drums to get different sounds and different feels. Um, so you'll see um, Along here, I've just got a, a basic uh, MIDI drum track here. And this is just done in Easy Drummer. So I'm applying different effects to different parts of drums. You'll see at the moment, I've just got the FX bits turned off. Um, but I'll turn them on gradually as so I show you the different bits. And then I'll show you it all together, the whole drum tr section track at the end. So when you first open it up, if it's Easy Drummer or anything similar, then it will ask you if you want to do multiple drum tracks. So you have to say um, yes to that rather than just a single stereo track. But then you do also need to um, actually assign it generally. So on the different tracks here, I've just assigned it to the different tracks it's created along here. So they'll just be called one, two, three, four, or whatever. And I've renamed them to be, say, Kick, Snare and assign them there. These last ones are just still on one because I just removed one shot shaker and because I'm not using any of these tracks, so you don't need them. Um, another thing just on here, which I'll tell you about, is that I'm using uh, the Jesus Sonic uh, soft clipper on the drums right at the beginning. So this is a Jesus Sonic plugin, which is in the JS folder in Reaper. So these are ones which are included as well. And what I'm doing is that I'm just taking off a little bit of minus 0 0.3 on the drums before it goes into the compression. Um, otherwise, it was clipping. So you could just turn it down on the actual drums coming in at the beginning here. And I have done that a bit, but it sounds better and a bit punchier and a bit more dynamic if you actually apply, reduce the volume a bit with a bit of clipping at the beginning. And then that means that the compression isn't coming in quite so early because otherwise that little bit extra 0 0.3 decibels would bring in the compression earlier. And this just makes it sound a bit heavier and a bit bigger. So that's something that's worth trying if you haven't tried it before. So, OK, the first plugin I'm using just on one section is using um, a Witch Pig Bitty, which is a bit crusher, which has also got some added um, modulation effects and wobbliness in it as well. So I'm just really using this to create um, a slightly different sound on one section before the full drums come back in again. It makes it sound a bit louder on the other section. It just gives a bit more variety. Um, what you'll also notice is I've got the automation, the volume automated on the master track. So you just have to show the view master track. And then if you go to trim here, then you can choose. I've just selected the volume. And then if you, and I mean, this is basically the same thing with automating any of the effects, turning them on as well. You do the same thing. And then you just right click on it, um, and create a point, and then just move it about to get the right balance. So I'd done that there. You've got a point there, it drops down in volume, and then it goes back afterwards. So what I'll do is I'll just, to start with, I'll just play you a little bit. So you hear the original drums here, and then it applies a bit of a um, bitty on this bit here. So, okay. Let's play you a bit of that. OK, so that's fairly subtle on that. With the bitty, you can make it sound absolutely ridiculous. You can make it sound incredibly crushed, incredibly wobbly. But with that, I just added just to add a, more like a different bit of texture and just to narrow the bit. So I'm reducing the bits used a bit just to make it sound a bit thinner and then it sounds bigger when it comes back in later. So the other bits I'm using, just I'll start and go from the beginning bits as it comes in. So the first thing, just for a little bit of extra effect, is on the toms, I'm just adding um, some actual chorus on this. So this makes the, the toms sound almost like electronic drums, like old Simmons kits or something. And at the end, when there's a bigger tom fill, I, I'm using the automation to just turn it off. But on here, it's just um, it's just using it just for a bit of an effect. So I'll just solo this, and you'll just hear it.
there you go. That's all it's doing. It sounds like an old Simmons kit or something on that. So you've got that. What I'm also doing when it, before it goes into the next section, which is a bit crushed, quieter section, is on the hi-hats, I'm also using some effects on this. So again, this is a similar sort of thing where it's using a chorus on the other one just to give a, a bit of an interesting stranger sound on it. So um, see the automation going on here. So I'll, I'll solo a bit of that so you hear that as well. So I'll turn it on again as well. OK, yeah, so you could hear that um, changing from the initial bit was just the normal sound and then you're bringing that in. And then again, when it all comes back in properly, it turns that back off and goes to the full normal um, hi hat. Right. What I'm also doing on this section is on the snare. Is I'm applying some gated reverb, so I'm just using um, built in um, reverb in, in, in the other one. So you can use any reverb, really, it's just something with like a big boomy sound. And then what I'm doing is I'm just cutting it off in time to the music with the gate. So you'll get the big reverb sound and then it will just cut it off so that you get this big, almost like 80s sort of big boomy sound on this. Um, so I'll solo that as well and just play a bit of that and you'll, 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 so you can hear that. Now you can see I'm just messing about with it here just to get the sound on the threshold. So you just need to do different tracks. You'll need to mess about the threshold and the expander just to let some through or just to let um, the right amount through. So you want to try and get it so it's cutting off in time with the music if you're, if, when you try and do something like that. I've got another video um, on my YouTube channel and it gives a just a short example of using the neutralizer as gated reverb. So if you want to try that, I'd have a look at that video as well. So on this bit, I'm just using it for a tiny section just to give, again, just to give a different sound. Right, so um, other section, it does apply, it's got another section later on in this towards the end where it cuts it down and here you'll see that it's, um, it's using just the snare for a section but without the gate on it. So I'll, I'll just play a little bit of that on there as well. So you just hear that. I'm actually doing the opposite on that. So it's actually it's actually um cutting it off, but with so it's actually got no, it's got the big verb on there. You can see it on this section, and then when it comes back in there, I did it a bit late. So hang on, I'll show you on here. I'll just I'll play it from here. So then you'll see it. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually applying the neutral. No, it's, it's actually that stage it's actually putting it on there which i didn't want to do so i'm going to change that so what i wanted to do i'll just play this is i want to change this so that this goes up to here as well so okay so you can hear the difference now OK, that's better. So you can hear that now. Right. So. What else have I got? Ah, the other bit, which I've got on this section as well, the quieter section at the end is what I'm doing is I'm using um, some uh, parallel distortion. So. I'll get this up. So um, parallel compression is used 
a lot on drums. So that's a really good way of applying the compression. So you get all the benefits of compression. But the trouble with that, is sometimes you then lose some of the details on bits like hi-hat or something. So if you split it into two channels and then mix them together later, you can um, it's a good way of, say, preserving some of the detail while still getting the compression. But less common is doing it for um, saturation, or in this case, I'm just doing it on a straight hard clipping distortion just to give more like an effect sound. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually solo this bit here. So you'll see when it again, the automation comes on here. So I'll just solo it and you'll hear a little bit of so I'm, I'm not applying it to all the drums. I, I just, what I did, actually I'll show you on here. I'll show you on the routing. What I'm doing is I'm passing from the main drums up here and I'm bringing in um, the kick and I'm bringing in the toms. So I'm just applying it to the kick and the toms on this section. Okay, so you'll hear the sound here when I play it. App again, I've just started it at the end bit, so you see it turning back to the other one. So, and I'll just play it here, and you'll hear the normal drums, and then just, and then then Siberian hamster. Oh. There you go. So you can you can hear it being applied to it. it makes it sound sort of weird and wobbly so that's doing it on that section right so that's most of the straight effects on that so the other thing which i'm doing just to add some interest is i'm adding in some samples on here so all these samples um i'll show you in it well this is this is my witch pig site as well witchpig.co.uk so if you want to download any of these plugins i'm using you can just go here and it's got demos and stuff on them so there's quite a few um, plugins and also contact instruments and um, also some like presets for various things as well. So everything's free on there. Um, so where the samples I've got, what I was doing is I've got them from, I think all these ones, I've got various places I've got them from, but a good one to check out is samplefocus.com. And then you can try out, um, you can search for different type of samples here. You have to log in and register with them, but then you can download them. And then, um, I want to say that, let's see, repower. So what I was doing is, um, the way to do it is if you go view and you go media explorer, then the best way to do it is to bring in other samples is you bring in um, you can open up the folder on here and then you can choose all the different samples to try out and you can just click on them to play them um, and it will just play them along here. And you can also um, change the pitch. You can change um, the tempo match. Um, you can change um, tuning. You can do manipulate the samples in various ways or just change the volume on it. And then you can just drag them in and add them to the tracks and try them out. So I'll just hide that again. So what I'm doing on here, so I'm gonna turn the effects off on this for a second. So this is turning off the effects at the moment. So I'm just gonna play the sample how it is, but then I also found I could make the um, samples sound better by applying some effects. So I'll play it without the effects. Okay, and here is with um, SBX Nevermore applied. Okay, so it's quite buzzy, but you don't notice that in the context of it all going on. So, okay, so what, I, what I'll do now is, oh, I've got some other samples at the end as well. So I've got some other ones here where I've got in where it goes into the quiet bits. It's got like a low bass drop it brings in. And then at the end, it kind of builds up in a reverse hit. So then at this stage of the toms, I turn off the chorus I've got on the toms. So it sounds more punchier, just like the real toms. You've got those going around and then it builds up to sort of like crescendo on here. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll just check for everything's um, 
turned on all the different effects are on everything's ready to go and then i'll just play it to you and i'll 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 show you the different bits as they come up and the different effects so i'll start showing this i didn't mean to turn it off i meant to show it right so i'll show this one and then i'll just click up and i'll open them and, and hopefully you can see the different bits as they go through okay so um Again, check out my witchpig.co.uk if you want to do it. I'll just play out with this and hopefully you'll find some things, ideas you want to try out. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, check out some of my videos. I've got plenty of other Re Reaper videos. Got a whole load of which big videos, and um, yep, yeah, hopefully um, you'll check out some of my other stuff soon. Cheers, bye.